England led out by Ellis Genge. And for Wales, well, it's Jack Morgan. Is poised to clear. We're under the roof. I guess you could say the conditions have a little bit of Paris in the early autumn about them. And for these men, well. So Smith, what, 48 metres straight in front. No problems with the distance. And the line, rather handy too. 13 minutes into the contest. The pressure at the moment coming from the men in white. Second success for Marcus Smith. The touchline in Bloemfontein to record that famous win against the Springboks. Wales' first ever in South Africa. And Lee Halfpenny, the Centurion. You may well have heard the referee just reminding Lee Halfpenny that he's on the clock. Costello with the shoulder. Genge inside ball, Dombre. It's got Stewart. Stewart the quick hands onto Fokina Singer. Fokina Singer. Well, he got rid of it, but George North anticipated well. England move back in front. It's three penalties to two. Not a huge amount of report from the first 40 minutes. Wales just being reminded they have a penalty advantage. Costello, the attempt at the cross kick. There's Aaron Wainwright. Wainwright gets it away. There's Morgan. Morgan, he's got men around it. He maybe doesn't need them. It's on to Davis. And Wales get the first try. The cross kick from Costello. The little bit of magic from the captain. And Gareth Davis, where he is so often, on the shoulder to finish it. Wasn't quite communicated in. An England debut for Theo Dan, the Saracen. Well, this time last year he wasn't established at Saracens. Now here he is, making his England debut. Same story there for Tom Willis. Gets louder and louder. There's Williams. Surely this time. And it's George North who does it. And now Wales are stretching their legs. He's been given a very positive press thus far. And look at this. That England pack disintegrating. Thomas Williams out to Reece Samet. Reece Samet. Has he maybe got too much? No, he hasn't. He may well have got there. Yeah, I agree. There is an initial separation. There is. Yeah, it's a knock on in goal, restart, Thank goal you. line dropout. I got that stationary. Let's use it. Here's Ben Portfleet. Pops the ball up to Malins. That's Tom Willis. England seven metres out. They've lost it forward. The ball is kicked into touch. And Wales have ended their barren run under the roof of the Principality. They have put England to the sword. Fourteen nil in this second half. Two tries. And dare I say, perhaps back to the drawing board for Steve Borthwick. The two will meet again in a week's time. But here in Cardiff, it is Wales who have beaten England by 20 points to nine.